Today's video is on the ProTech Outdoors Shoulder Carry Holster. This holster is nylon in construction and it's sold in generic sizes. Now the particular holster that I have is being advertised as being able to accommodate a long list of firearms. So if you check out their website, they'll have a sizing chart that'll help you select the right holster for you. I'm using this holster for the Ruger LC9. And the holster itself retains fairly well, has a decent retention, and it also has a really good thumb break. This holster is extremely easy to draw from. The rig itself is fully adjustable and it will also accommodate both left-handed and right-handed shooters. Switching can be done in seconds. You just undo four clips and then you can swap the holster and mag carrier. The rig that I have will suspend the firearm horizontally, but you can also purchase these holsters with rigs that will suspend the firearm vertically. For me personally, I prefer the horizontal draw. For me, it's just easier, but that's a personal preference. Take it for what it is. Now the mag carrier is a little bit large for this size of firearm in the type of magazine that you're going to have. In the case of the LC9, it's a small single stack magazine. And in these larger uh, mag carriers throughout the day, the magazine can get lodged upward. And if you have to draw your spare magazine, when you open this up, it can be up there pretty deep and you'll have to like dig around for it. Uh, what makes this easier though, in my particular case, to draw from this mag carrier is that I use the grip extension. And that grip, the grip extension actually prevents it somewhat from being driven upward and actually keeps it pretty low in the mag carrier. In the past, the generic sized nylon holsters really haven't worked for me. Surprisingly, this is a pretty decent holster option. And as holsters go, they're extremely cheap. So if you're looking for a budget holster option, you might want to give ProTech Outdoors a try. As always, be safe and thanks for watching.